Hello everyone again and welcome back to the Flores Hot Lava is Tony Hawk Pro Skater Hot Lager. Hot Lager? Hold action to start. Um, I decided to do another episode because I wanted to see what this was and I wanted you to see two. Um, find all the checkpoints using the pogo stick. <laughs> this is Commander Keen meets Tony. Oh my goodness. Cool. Yeah. I agree mate. This is way more, like That is what that Quake guy is trying to be like. Did I miss one? Nope. <laughs> what is this game? There's a certain insanity to clay games that I honestly greatly, wow, appreciate. I'm glad that this child is so good at pogo sticking, much like Commander Keen before him. How many do we expect there to be? Oh, I see. It teleports you to the next place without prompting. Another thing I would probably ask them to change if I had the opportunity to give feedback. I'm fairly sh Oh, you have to jump and then... See what? I'm, I'm doing that thing wrong again, which is where I think that I have momentum. If you turn around, you flipping well turn around, mate. It's too late. You've already changed direction. So this is obviously a time trial. And these seem to follow the same rules as trampolines. I think. I'm trying to jump on it. Can I bounce off that? <laughs> I don't really want to. Not quite, no. I think I can jump on the bin. Nope. But I bet I can jump on the canteen trolleys. You don't want to... Oh, mate. You're asking for trouble there, bro. Alright. Jump, 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 jump. Is he got it? No. It's just... Again, it's a game where you're going to have to really get used to the timing of it. This is a lot more satisfying than the previous one was because I feel like everything that I'm doing wrong, I'm doing wrong rather than it being some awkwardness of the environment or something like that. I'm finding it very difficult to land on that but I'm pretty sure that is the only thing I can land on to get to the vending machine. There we go. He's done it. Might give that another go because mm, I didn't feel very good. I'm pretty sure I got like maybe a bronze five stars. I got a gold because I came first. New best time. Well, yes, but... See, I'm not getting much feedback. This is much like Quake in that I'm not getting much feedback as to what any of these things actually mean. What's that dude doing? Oh, I get a ghost as well. That's I, I enjoy that. So you get to retry it and you get the little ghost you do. Which is you. It's like looking in the mirror though, it's really freaky. <laughs> I hate looking at myself in the mirror. Pretty sure that's a bad thing. But... So I've already ruined this. Can I restart easily? Retry. Not as easily as in Tony Hawk, but... You know. I was actually better at this the first time, apparently. I love how it's recorded your actual pogoing. Rather than... <laughs> Just having a random ghost, you're actually bouncing off each of those walls right now. Uh, uh. Yeah, I managed it that time by actually... Last time I... <laughs> What's going on? This is really difficult to control. Like, you don't have control over the distance that you bounce, but you have control over the direction that that bounce takes you. So I can't actually get up there. Alright, let's try this then. So what you need to sort of do is figure out how... No! Call me a scumbag loser if you want to, but this is how we do these games. There we go. Yes. Oh, no. Retry. It's still it's still menu up, up, enter, by the way. It's just that the menu is further away. And therefore, less friendly to get to. I'm still being beaten by the first, first attempt. <laughs> <laughs> it's no good. Stop being beaten by your first attempt, mate. It's not up, up. I'm going to have to feed them back to that. Because if they're going to beat Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2, then when you're in the school level, which is all of them, you really need to be able to just press escape, up, up, enter, in order to retry. Well, what I did notice, actually, I'm, whilst I'm screwing up, last time it was a little bit quiet, even though it felt loud to me. So I'm going to turn that up and hope that it's not... Horrendous for all of you. I'm going to leave this trial because I'm bored of it. I want to do something else. Uh, we can go back in there. That's the ABCs. Wait, didn't that... 
Wasn't this the one that told me to complete the... Oh, I see. So I've completed the ABCs, which lets me in here. But I also need to complete Middle School Mischief, which might be in here. Yeah. All these things. And repeat the great... Well, I appreciate... Um, I know it seems a little bit like common tactics these days, but I do like it when games have these levels that you can't get to until you complete another level. It, 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 on the one hand, obviously, it gates you into doing things in the right order, but at the same time, it sort of gives you a sense of progress, and of course, I'm terrible at this game, so I shouldn't be allowed. I hope this isn't copyrighted music, because <laughs> that really sounds like real big fish or something. I'm still in pogo mode. Oh, I thought I could get that. Why is there beer pong <laughs> in a grade school? Jumping from this to... So there is momentum, of course, which is when you jump correctly. Straight over the... Oh, no. Straight over the pin. Can I just, like, jump again and then jump here and then jump here and then... Yeah, that worked a lot better. So we should do that next time. And this jump is considerably easier when you are... Where do I want to go from here? Down? Sure, why not? Is that putty? No. I haven't seen any of this aforementioned putty since it was in the tutorial. In fact, I can't help but notice the tutorial came after the introduction. What am I supposed to do here? What did this say? It does say divorce. Alright. They do have a lot of uh, information for you know disadvantaged kids. You send me all the way back here. You have not done this. I am outraged. Yeah, he's done it. I've already done this, and I shouldn't have to put up with this again. This is Game of Thrones level torture here. Let's just go this way. <laughs> Give us a checkpoint. Ow. Um. I mean, it kind of. It does tend to forgive you if you don't actually make it to the next part, which I think is interesting, because I don't really want it to. You know, if I don't make it to a ledge, don't let me continue from the ledge. It feels like I've skipped a puzzle, you know? Asked for the answers. Looked at the back of the you know, question card. This isn't a, a Mensa, or how beefy is your IQ sort of thing, it's just a... Can you get from A to B without falling onto the floor? Which is, apparently, no. It's actually a very tall order. A big ask, which is more appropriate to the genre of the game, which is American. Give me that. I'm collecting these cards on the assumption that they are there, and when I, you know, do so, what? This got sinister. How do I run? There's no run button. This is a... What is happening? Let me up. There's no... It's not because it won't go that high. Lie! Crouch. Oh, I see. If you crouch and land on the ground and then let go... Crouch equals fast. Excuse me. Get in. What? I don't like this. This is all fun and games until we ended up in actual lava. This isn't lava. This is acid. This is... Kids should not be up here. What are you doing, child? I have a feeling this is going to be one of those uh, clay games where it ends up being like... Oh, this is amazing. I love it when you have little bits like this. It's the run fast bit. Whoa! Whoa! Where um, it turns out all this time you have actually been enacting the requirements of the, um, the, the, the superhero team that we saw in the cartoon introduction. I'm going to let you look for the cartoon introduction yourself because I'm not sure if they would be particularly happy with me putting it on the uh, on the old YouTubes myself. Or maybe someone else has done it, in which case I'm basically off the hook, you know. Also, this child. If this is in the kid's imagination, then this kid can really imagine some very sticky putty on some walls. But I mean, at least the 
lava is ooh, is only like imaginary undead lava, not really undead lava, because we wouldn't be able to restart if it was really undead lava, which means then probably it is in his imagination, or her imagination, but I'm currently playing as the one of the male characters, so... Can. The, the gender of the child is ambiguous. The child is whatever gender the character the child is imagining themselves to be at the time that they are doing said imagination. And since we never see the child, Son's imagination, yeah, that wasn't going to work, was it? Is there a better way to do that? Probably. Like, what? This child's imagination is furnishing them with, you know, extruding rocks that the child can then jump on in order to make their way onto this trophy cap. Mm -hmm. Mate, you're a very frustrating person. I'm going to assume that you're a, a mateable... You know, it's not necessarily a gender-specific... You know... I was going to say... I mean, obviously the word is term, but... What, what sort of term is the one where you call someone mate when they're clearly not your mate and you're clearly pretty upset with them? Well, maybe they are your mate in some respects, but... Oh, that didn't work. You see, you've done it again. You've let. Oh no, I did like make it to this ledge. To be fair, it's putty up there. Can I get to the putty? I don't think so. Is this a trampoline? No. Aha! Wait. Hello. Thank you for leaving me all these cards. I fell in. I fell in. <laughs> Boing. Every single one of these levels is just great fun. I know I was going on about how it's not very satisfying. It's not unsatisfying, and I think I said that, but I want to make clear that I am not un a fan. I just think there are tweaks that can be made. Polish. Um, I saw this. I want to do that. And then that. And then onto the door? Are you joking? Are you hawking? Because that's another one there is that if those are spaced correctly, then my ability to press spacebar at the right time should get me across these. But I also have to control the speed of the character in mid-air. Do you see what I mean? If this was satis a satisfying game at that point, it would be like, you press space at the right time with the right rhythm, and the game will just carry you to freedom. You know? Even if I have to aim correctly... See, if I press space too many times, I end up bouncing off of I didn't realise I could just, you know start jumping from there. Where should we go? Here? It's a good thing those bottles didn't make a difference. To me! Oh. Yeah, I can just jump here, look. <laughs> Try jumping on those ones. I mean, I'm not allowed through here, so... I don't know why I bothered. <laughs> can I just go onto that one? No. thought I might be able to. Oh, I see. So, I think the time is... See how there's a little thing at the bottom? Which is, I guess, my progress. I think... The other marks on it are either my past attempts or other people's. And then the plus numbers is basically how much better I'm doing than the last time I or somebody else tried it. I nearly managed that. I kind of feel like there's other places I could be going. Because we did follow a different path for a while. And there's always that stuff, you know? But this has a, an exit shield in it. Mate. This is pesky. This kid needs to stop being so bouncy. Child. You and me are working together on this kid, you know? Did I usually jump from that to that? No. What? <laughs> I'm trying different things. I want to see if I can go over there because it looks like there's something to do over there. Why are all these things just in the school? All these girders have fallen down. Which is why I'm wondering if it's going to be one of those clay things where they make it all fun in games and then it goes sinister after a while. It's play really like their sinister cartoons. I hope no one's getting motion sickness because... 
This only wants me to go forwards and backwards this way. And I really want to go over there. <laughs> Can I? I guess I could keep bouncing. If I fall off again, which is basically inevitable. It looks like... Oh, well. Anything here? No? It looks like you can go in a different direction on this one, so maybe farts. <laughs> the screensaver said farts. Maybe there's more to this than that. I like that the course is not just a straight course. What is this? Champion credits. Do I pay for these? Complete an order. I don't know what that meant. This is the whole school, not just the course that I was on, I think. Let's continue and have a look at some more of the content. We've got through some of these... Uh, magical barriers that apparently exist everywhere. Uh, I mean, what sort of school is furnished with force fields? Like that? I, I love the fact that this kid is short. <laughs> I'm small because I'm a child. I mean, I know this bin is huge, even for a bin, but come on. Dude's pogoing. You do get to see the pogos. So you are pogoing around the same place that I was um, just walking around. Is that another pogo challenge? I've got so many of these to collect. Why are you on fire? You're playing the course. That's crazy. This is where I was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? No. It was look different. Yeah. This is the actual course that we were on. This is what it's like when it's not imaginary. <gasps> I'm loving this. How cool is this? These are the people playing it in pogo mode. What? Are you pogoing around there, you insane person? Like, you can continue to play it. I'm loving this. I'm loving the fact that sometimes it's actually lava, and sometimes it's just you. So we went this way. Over here. I'm trying to get... I want to get those cards. Maybe I'll just get them another time. I mean, it said 21 of 60. They don't seem to be particularly different each time you get them. Let's repeat the grade. It told me some stuff about it before I went in, but I, I didn't read it, so... I have to go back. Interesting. That's very cool. And he's on the floor. Found another card. That's a different colour. Why? Even I can tell that. It's a different colour. Where do I go? <laughs> There's a chair. Can we land on the chair? Huh, huh. Jump! Bro, dude. Mate. Kid. Look. You had one job. <laughs> it was a jump again. Now nah, you can't jump over that. So you have to jump onto that and then onto the chairs. <sighs> Heavy breathing into microphone. Yes! No. Okay. I mean, that seemed pretty obvious to me because of how those chairs are the same chairs that we stood on before. But... You twerp. Very melodramatic kid when he's dying in lava. Can't you just die in lava without staring at your hands and going, oh no, I'm on fire. I think those chairs should count, <laughs> frankly. Why does the lava start here? I haven't even got there yet. There we go. I did that correctly by accident. I have no idea how, and I still failed. Come on, game. Give me some slack here. I don't remember whether there's something about walls. <laughs> I could just generally use walls or not. Oh, you just missed that one completely. Fair enough. Sometimes you have momentum when you don't want it, and sometimes you don't have momentum when you do want it. The fact that it's a very look where you're going, not where you've been sort of job, is kind of breaking my brain. I'm going to suck at Quake tonight, I'll tell you that. When don't you suck at Quake? Yeah, well, it's very good. Uh, how about in 1994, when it was new? When did Quake come out? Now, 1993 was Doom, so Quake must be like, 96? Original Quake, anyway. Which means Quake 2 must have been... Well, it was before 90... Oh, actually. Quake 2 and Unreal came out at the same time. This is before 1999, because obviously Unreal Tournament... I cannot do this level. <laughs> Unreal Tournament, obviously was 1999, and still is. 99 forever. He's done it. 
Please start me back on this platform next time. I beg of you, have mercy. I don't know if I need to go this way, to be honest. Well, there's someone coming up behind me, so might as well. Hello. Where are you going? He's done it. Nearly right. Oh. But also, like, we could just go down there. But, um, not, not there. Here. This explains the other part of the course, then. Because on the way in, I'm like, why, why can you do this? Maybe each course has different ways of going. That would also be cool. No. Definitely landed on that. Sometimes you have to not have momentum. <laughs> Sometimes you have to have a little bit more momentum if it's all the same to you, kid. Just jump over it. Who cares about that? Just jump. And the point is, you haven't had a decent quake for a few years now. I'm kind of glad that they brought one back. I can jump on that, and I will jump on that. Might be easy to just go over the top here. Like this. Go over here like this. How is this kid balancing on beams? No child is this good at anything. See, that's all we have to do. We didn't have to back around in that at all. I want to be up there. I want to get that. Nope. No, no, no. Oh, dear, 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 dear. Uh, you have to land on it and then... Where are we going? That one, maybe. There's nothing. There's nothing I can do. This game is rigged. Call the police. Maybe jump on the back of this chair. Instead of the front of it. Yeah. And then we can jump like this. Get that. 38 of 60. I don't know if that's a different number. I keep thinking I'm being fired at or something. Because it's... Like... Because <laughs> I've just been... I know I keep going on about Quake in a game that is completely unlike Quake, but you're an idiot. Not you. Me. The you that is me is an idiot and shouldn't be allowed. It's much easier to just try and keep keep the momentum going, if you can get it in the first place. Ah, ah so close. I'm sitting at Rod Straight right now. Rod Stewart right now, because... <laughs> it's an enlightening game. No, an enthralling game. You're supposed to jump between the obstacles rather than just stepping from one to the other. Which confused me early on, I think I was telling you. In the first tutorial, in the introduction, I didn't realise I wasn't actually jumping. He was just walking from thing to thing. I love the lava effects, though. The textures are amazing. So I think the plus 14 that we saw there was basically your how much better you were than last time. Need to get it! Oh, he's got it! Yes! Yes! That was legend, wait for it, Eri. That wasn't. This is a very well designed course, and I have to say, and I say that because um, <laughs> I'm running, I think it's exactly the same one backwards. But because we couldn't get to the majority of these you know, platforms that we are now landing on, you slipped off. I don't appreciate that, Sunny Jim. Because we couldn't get onto these the last time, couldn't make use of them. Ah. Oh. Erudite commentary, as usual. Ah! See? This guttural noise is the, Im the impotent sound of frustrated chimp. Oh, yeah, okay. Sure, we'll stand on it. <laughs> that also seems a little bit weird, but okay. Missed! I don't think I need to go that far, because I can probably go onto the desk once I've done that. Uh, air control is far too good. <laughs> I want to look around before I land somewhere. Alright, we have to walk sideways, which is kind of pesky. Yep, yep, yep. He's done it! I saw a... I keep seeing this sort of semicircle going on around my crosshair. don't know what it is. I pres 
presume that the um there's nothing there because I can't go through it. I presume that the arrow simply means it gives you an indication of how far. I don't actually know what that arrow is indicating either. What can we do here? Oh. Fair enough. Huh. Or we could just not have that. That's also fine. <laughs> You see, he just restarts and you're not ready for it. When you've turned around in the air, he's not ready for that neither. Nor an either and not never. Can I go over here? No. I mean, I see this thing. I have no idea. Uh, bin. Bin. And then turn around and jump up here. Bin. Let's try this again. Do what I say, not as I do. No, I can't get it. Uh, okay. Uh, Everyone was probably yelling at me. That's okay. You can yell. That was a classic mini. That was some Indiana Jones stuff right there. Are you playing the other course? Maybe. Good. Well done. I love how many... Just... I don't want to do that. You have to go back. Which... I remember that that was the way in, so we don't want to do it that way. Yeah, we have to jump onto that one. Wait. No. Jump on that one. Okay. <laughs> Dude, you're not very good at this game. It's all in the timing. Do you know what secret of comedy is? Jokes. Yeah. This way? Let's go this way. I'm not going that way, I guess. Thank you for that. But now I'm stuck. It's okay. I got what I came for. It's not okay, because look. I'm all the way back here. I have achieved it. I don't know what flashed at me there, but I wasn't a fan of it. Go in here. You're pogoing! What? You fell in the lava, though, you numpty. It's a good word, that. Very British. Numpty. I fell in the lava because I'm a numpty, but you see how it works. We all get to be one. Okay, let's go back this way. Huh. Huh. Santa? Nope. <laughs> Probably not Santa, unless it's Future Armor Santa. He seems like he would live in a place like this. Yes. Oh, we've been here before. Bouncing around on our boingy stick. This floor is very loud. Oh, I can't reset. Mm. Can reset? Mm. Maybe if I jump a slightly bit later. Oh, he's done it. Oh, it's terrifying. Nerve wracking, I say. I like how in the other direction it's much easier to get back. What's that floating? No. Uh. It is floating. That's funny. Hello. You're bad at this as I am. <laughs> oh, see. Case in point. QED. As has been demonstrated. Can I just jump from there to there? No, oh, come on. Also, sometimes I feel like I should get some bonus points for just being slightly too clever. Because I feel like I should be able to do this. Jump here. Which I can. But, like... Stop setting me back though, because that was a difficult thing to do. I love that there's people playing all the different courses and it's not just me. Like, before, <laughs> when I first started, I'm going, why is this online? This makes no sense. It's just silly. It's just so silly to have all these people. Where are you going? You're going down, boy. Not in, not in the going down. So you know what I mean. Nope. I'd like to be there, and then I would like to be here. This is the place we were in before, so let's see if we can make good use of it, because I sense this is not the way. And yet, it's allowing me to go in this way. Oh, I see. I'm there. Get a card. Fan of that. I don't know what these cards do. What I, I don't tend to play the sort of meta game in these such games where if you have um, these 
collectibles and, and, and points and unlockables and stuff. I like the progress meter sort of thing where it's like, once you've gone this far, somehow I managed to grab that even though I didn't know I was playing and now I'm stuck. Um, but the collectibles and the unlockables and the different, I mean there's different heroes, maybe those make a difference. They're doing the new Quake which I didn't realise. But those are sort of purchasable unlockables, which, and the purchase of those is just based on playing the game a heck of a lot. Well, at least I've picked them up. Now I don't have to do it again. But these cards, I seem to be collecting them even though I have no real desire to use them. Get up. <laughs> that was in an awkward position. So that was the same level backwards. I enjoyed that as a concept because it means that they designed a level that you could play forwards and backwards. Ten minutes though. Struth. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this. I've been playing for half an hour and I don't feel like I have, but you've been watching for half an hour and you've probably fallen asleep. So, yeah, let me leave, let me leave, a, little bit. leave a comment and let me know if you're enjoying this. I'm doing you a thumbs up, but you can't see it. Let me know if you're enjoying this as much as I am. I know that I said that in the last episode, but I've decided to do a second one anyway. Maybe I'll do this as a series. Maybe I won't. Maybe I'm just going to play it and record it. And you have to watch it because that's your obligation. But until next time, thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. And I will see you then.